There are some martial arts that are about absolute defense, about prevailing, about victory. Others are as much for the mind as they are for security. Methods to elevate ourselves, to transcend. In my ongoing exploration for Indian martial arts, this sophisticated, powerful and agile Hyundai Creta has brought me to the southernmost tip of our country. I am in search for what is called by many as the mother of all our martial arts. A form that has deep roots and long branches into history, philosophy and spirituality. And an art form that blurs the line between dance and dance. The martial art form that we are here to discuss is Kalari Payattu from God's own country, Kerala. To cover a deep and complete martial art like Kalari in a short time is a lot to ask for. But uh, I'm hoping to find the right person to impart me with gems of wisdom. To know about this evergreen art form, coincidentally, I have an evergreen SUV, the popular Hyundai Creta. While it is available in various powertrain combinations, I have it with me in a more earthy diesel engine manual gearbox form that's as grounded as it gets, easy to overtake with, go long distances and above all, great fuel efficiency. It's as rounded as a car most of India would want. I have come to the two decade old institution, Ankam Kardanath Kalari, run by a former physics teacher and long-time Kalari practitioner, Suresh Gurukal. With over four decades of deep understanding of its techniques, which are passed on over many generations, he runs this quaint thatched roof institute in Vadakara, a small town along the coast in Kerala's Calicut district. Interestingly, there are various forms of Kalari and the one taught here is a North Kerala style which is known to be more expansive in its approach and tackles movement holistically. In contrast, the southern style is more martial, direct and effective to be used in combat for territory. So sir, uh, we've heard so much about Kalari and uh, you know there are different forms of beginning to Kalari when you start, there are different forms of salutations. There's one important thing that I've learned heard about is Mepat. So, what is its significance in Kalari? Uh, that is a very important thing in Kalari. We are Traditionally, all the people of this land, irrespective of gender and caste, were imparted the knowledge of Kalari through a Guru Shishya method of Gurukul. Mandatory training normally began early in life, as young as seven years old, and continued through student life. Kalari must be one of the few martial arts where the students pick up weapons much before they begin to learn unarmed combat. There is a deep reason for this, which we will learn later. The North Kerala style of Kalari thrived in the classical period, when seasoned practitioners and warriors would represent their kingdoms in public duels. The level of training and craft in this time must have been top-notch 
because these were fights to the death on the basis of which territories were decided. The most advanced stage of cullery is based on a subtle yet deep understanding of the human body, its energy pathways and pressure points. It takes years of practice and maturity to explore this level of art, the core science of Marma, which can be enabling and disabling. Ayodhanagala Namala Padipikinada Shatrukal na Retcha Nadanala Markangalana. Shatrukal in the Retcha Nadambo Adinan Dairi can the Savisheshada. Yet to Ulupotil, yet to Parapurdavitam Kuchiagaria. Namada Shadiatele, Chela Prathana Pata Kendramil, Namada Summer than Gudukumbo, Idirali, Chalapoello, Abodaos Telekuva. Kostumbude were not at the river by my room by race and Pavikam. Any one no lingle literally in Katalka, take a talka, you may both at Shay in Gilberta. Iteratere, Namco, Seriatele, Aka, Tangle, Elpica, and Karina, Malara, Sushoma, Stan and Galea, and the Mamangal. It is deadly, effective, and extremely old martial art, but that is not the real purpose of Kalari Payat. They say that the true aim of the practitioners of Kalari is to be able to access spiritual depths beyond boundaries and to realize the smallness of human existence. Good Kalari practitioners turn out naturally humble, naturally radiant and naturally evolved. Through this entire journey on martial arts of India, I have come across various forms of fighting, all with their own purpose and reasons. It only seems apt then, and more than a coincidence, that I am signing off with this gem from God's own country. <laughs>